I am absolutely done, over, completely just done with social media. Done. And when I say that, I don't mean YouTube. And I know you're probably going, but YouTube is social media. It is, but it's different than the others. And I'll tell you why. When I come to YouTube and I create content, my content is a building block and continues to build on itself in a very good way. For example, I have videos on my channel that are 10 years old, where I started a YouTube 10 years ago and I did a couple videos. And my point is those videos from 10 years ago still get traffic, even when I wasn't doing anything, even when I was completely absent from posting YouTube videos. And it's because the content was relevant, people searched for it and they found it. Now, if you look at places like Instagram and Facebook, X, I guess that's what they're calling it now. Everything on there is not evergreen. And what I mean by evergreen is evergreen is something that sticks around. So if you are an artist and you're writing this blog content, you're doing reviews and that stuff is evergreen. It's content that is relevant. It's not just in the moment and then it's gone. It, it sticks around. When you create a YouTube video, you can create an evergreen YouTube video or one that isn't. So for example, let's say during the elections, I'm talking all about the elections. Well, when the elections are over, that content will probably be irrelevant. But if I'm sitting here telling you about how to use watercolor and gouache together, that's gonna be relevant to 10, 20 years from now. It, it has an evergreen longevity. And the idea of, the, of that is when you look outside and you see an evergreen plant, tree, plant, tree, tree, plant, I guess, do they have, I don't know. I know that there's evergreen trees, but I'm like, do they have evergreen plants? I mean, I guess so. I mean, a, a boxwood would be an evergreen plant. So anyway, okay, I just went off on a, on a little tangent over there. The point is they don't die during the winter. They remain green during the winter. They withstand all seasons and your content should withstand all seasons. When I am creating content like a reel for Instagram, once I sit there and record it and get it all done, it goes into the algorithm. And you think in a month from now, anybody is seeing that? No, it's over, it's done, it's completely trash. It comes and goes and you put so much effort into these things that come and go. Time lapses and little explainer videos. I'm not saying that these things are bad. I'm not saying that if you're watching this and you're doing this, that you're doing something wrong. I also own a web design and digital marketing agency and I have done social media marketing, email marketing and all types of digital marketing for mom and pop businesses all the way up to million dollar companies. And I will tell you this, that there's so much energy that has to go into social, that kind of social. I mean, yes, you know, YouTube is a lot of energy too. It's just different that you either have to be willing to do it and be consistent because they will penalize you. If you do not continually create content or you create content a lot and then you stop, it's gonna, it's just gonna screw with your ability to get into the algorithm. And it does affect people. I've seen it affect so many clients and so many artists. It's just, it's exhausting. And not everybody has that kind of stamina where they're like, yes, I'm gonna make three, three stories a day and four reels. And who wants to do that? Please help me. Like who, who wants to do that? It's exhausting. And to me, it started feeling like I was basically jumping around, dancing, singing, looking for trending sounds, all of these things. And I would have wins and then I wouldn't have wins. And I feel like it's kind of, social media is very similar to that of going to a casino. They're gonna continue to give you little wins so that you'll wanna to continue to stick around. And then when you feel the losses, you crave that win. So I've gone viral before, not on YouTube, but on other platforms. I went viral on TikTok and the high was extreme. 
But the thing is, is people, people will sit there and go, well, I went viral before. Who cares? Unless you're going viral constantly, it is a bloop. That's what it is. Just a bloop. It's an up and a down and that's it. You, you got your high and it's over. And then people spend so much time trying to get there again. And that happens even without going viral. That just happens when somebody has a piece of artwork they post or a piece of content all of a sudden it gets a ton of likes or a ton of support it actually creates this urgency like oh, how can i do that again now that's marketing right partially it's marketing coming from a marketing background that is partially marketing we want to do that with our clients i want to go like oh that worked let's do that but what is the return of investment is what i started asking myself yeah, if we're doing a marketing strategy for a client and it is selling products left and right, then sure, jump around and do the thing. You know, like that's working. If you as a creator, whether or not you're an artist or a musician, you are literally getting likes and comments and that is all you're getting. You are not getting sales if you're selling things. You're not building up your newsletter, which is going to be, are very important part of your building an art business because you don't have access to everybody. Even on YouTube, you do not have access to all of your subscribers because algorithm. You don't have access to all the people that like and follow you on Facebook, algorithm. Same with Instagram, you don't. But I always encourage people to at least start building up a newsletter because you know you can get to the majority of those people if you send out a newsletter. And then there's another thing that I would encourage you to do, but I'm going to tell you that later. So I just decided I'm not jumping around anymore on all social networks, except for obviously here, because I'm planning on sticking around, probably even doing more videos at this point, because I just really love it, that I'm done. I made a big graphic with the words I'm done in capital letters and it said pretty much social media is exhausting with little ROI and you can find me on YouTube and my website and you can find me on Patreon. That's where you can find me. And there were so many people that came back and said like, I get that. I feel that in my soul. I'm so tired. And we'll see people post on the internet, like, I don't, I'm an artist. I don't want to be a content creator. And then you see all these other people going, but it's a business and you have to do the business stuff. Stop complaining like a baby, <laughs> you know, and there's, there's definite like sincerity in both places. It's exhausting and you do have to work hard to get anywhere, but you have to be smart. Where are you going to put your energy? Where is there going to be a return of investment for you. For me, it's not going to be Instagram. I don't even care if I go viral and get a bunch of likes. It doesn't matter to me. Likes don't mean anything. I want really true, authentic relationships and to also build up a sense of community. And I'm telling you, even some of the biggest creators on Instagram and Facebook have limited, have limited community. I find that people have a lot more community on places like YouTube. So the other thing I want to tell you is that YouTube is such an amazing place, but you do. If you are thinking about coming over to YouTube and you're like, oh, I'm so tired from social, just know that building up a YouTube channel is also going to take you a lot of energy and time. I'm not trying to dissuade you. I think you should do where your heart wants to take you. And if you want to become a YouTuber and do videos, then do it because you have to go where your heart is going to take you. But no matter what you're doing, no matter if you really want to master Facebook or you want to master Instagram or wherever you want to master, you're going to have to put time in and you're going to have to follow the rules and the rules that Instagram and Facebook want me to follow, I don't want to follow. <laughs> I don't have a desire to post numerous times a day. And if I don't, I get penalized. My idea of creating content is creating solid quality content. And if that means once a month, every two weeks, whatever it means, I want a platform to support me in that. And YouTube is that platform. 
as long as you are creating good content and you are decently consistent, you will notice growth if you are doing those things as well as continually talking to other creators and supporting other people and really being a part of the YouTube community. The other thing that I decided to do is of course continue to build up my newsletter, but I've also had a Patreon that has sat there and I haven't really done much with it. I've had a Patreon for three years and when I looked at how I could reach people, I thought, would I rather reach 500,000 people across all my platforms or try to, I, want, I don't want to say reach because that would be lovely, but would I want to try to reach that and maybe reach a half a percent of people? Or would I rather have three people on Patreon that actually give a crap about what I'm doing and do that. And I also think that people, whether or not you're an artist, creator, or a business person, really need to focus on one or two platforms. And I've heard that a lot from, from people, but it's something I really haven't followed. And I do think it's the right thing to do, you know, and we're all fatigued. <laughs> so even the people that are creating, the people that are surfing are also exhausted. You know, they're not hanging out on all the places. So where are your people hanging out? You know, what are you going to do with yourself as a creator? For me, YouTube is an amazing place. I have such wonderful subscribers and relationships that I have built here. I don't plan to leave here anytime soon at all. I love making videos. Not everybody does. So if you don't enjoy making videos and you don't want to put time into it, don't try to do this because it will also fatigue you. What are you really getting for the energy that you are putting? Sorry, I thought my neighbor was going to bring me cookies, but my neighbor's bringing my other neighbor cookies. So we're all bringing each other cookies. Anyway, so I want you to think about this. I want you to nurture yourself. I want you to take the time to figure out what's going to work for you. And remember, return of investment. What are you getting back? If you're just getting likes and, and comments, what does that actually mean in the long run? Would you not rather build something up like a Patreon where people actually start paying you for your content? Or would you not rather start getting a YouTube going that, that you really like to do where maybe you can get monetized? As creators, we shouldn't just be out there giving ourselves for free, jumping around, singing songs, trying to find the, the, the most trending sounds. And I mean, some of it's cute. Some of it's lovely and funny, but some, some of it look like idiots. You know, it just, so many people just look like they're trying so hard to be loved and liked and for the algorithm to love them. And that's damaging. I've been there. I cannot say that I haven't sat there for hours and hours and went like, well, what should I do? How could I do this? Will people like this? How can I do this? Do you think that I should post this? Do you think I should post that? Maybe I should do it from this angle. I mean, it's, it is a lot of thinking. And that's one of the reasons why I love YouTube because I can, I can craft a video. I can say, listen, I'm going to talk about this. These are the tools that I'm using. This is the tone that I'm using. This is how I'm going to record it. I'm going to get it done, put it up there, put all the information on it and let it be. I'm not really creating YouTube videos and going crazy about whether or not somebody likes it or not, because it doesn't matter to me because the content is evergreen, it's quality, and the right people will eventually find it. Unlike other social media, when you're done posting something, it's gone. It's gone. All that energy is gone and so much time is being wasted. So what do you guys think of social media? Where are you at? What do you think of YouTube as a creator? What do you think of X and Instagram and TikTok? Like, where are you at? Are you frustrated? Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Do you love it? Does it excite you? Where are you at? I'd really like to know. And what is your plan? Do you have any plans for yourself? as a creator to build up yourself and your brand.
I'd love to know. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing if you're not a liker and current subscriber. And I'll see you guys again in another video really soon.